Okay guys, so today we are going to talk about how we got married after four and a half months and why. So we got married in secret, we eloped. So our parents didn't know, nobody knew except one friend that came as a witness to the courthouse. <laughs> now, um, we're gonna just touch on how we met. Uh, Lance, would you like to touch on that or would you like me to briefly? Yeah, I'll briefly touch on. Okay. So basically four and a half months ago, um, on my YouTube channel, I, I usually post daily videos. And so I was just going in to reply to some comments. And in the uh, YouTube recommended video section, I actually saw one of Jackie's videos. And do you remember the title of that one? Uh, God has already answered your prayer. Yes. So I clicked on it um, because I found she was just absolutely gorgeous. And I began to listen to the video and I could tell, wow, this woman really knows the word. She's serious about her faith. So I listened to a few others and I said, you know what, I might as well go see if she has other social media platforms. So I went on to Instagram, uh, ended up following her and sent her a DM basically just saying, I really appreciate, you know, just how much you know the word. You're a mighty woman of God. And I just really appreciate you're just genuine and authentic and real to yourself. And we need more people like that. And then you ended up replying. You remember kind of what you said? Or? Uh, yeah, I looked at his uh, profile and I saw that he was making YouTube channel videos and he was uh, talking about apologetics. He had written books uh, on apologetics and Christianity and false prophets. And so I was like, hey, keep doing the work of the Lord. Um, thanks. And he just hearted the message <laughs> and left it at that. And I was like, okay. I wasn't really looking for anything because I just came out of a season of uh, dating uh, just to date because I had marriage as an idol and God took me out of that and put me into, I, I got so heartbroken and, and rejected from that season of trying to take things into my hands and my control um, and rush things and my timing and not wait on the Lord. And I got so burnt. I finally was like, okay, I'm going to listen to you God and start this YouTube ministry, keep keep it going and be obedient to you and seek you again. And he took away the desire for a husband completely. And I was so in love with Jesus again, I was on fire and I did not want anything with any guy. So when he messaged me, I was kind of like, okay, he's cute, he loves the Lord, great, perfect. Uh, thank you so much, end of story. So when he just hearted my message, I was like, okay. Uh, a few weeks later, I posted a picture of me and my friend at a restaurant, okay? A Mexican restaurant. And he 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 comments on the picture. And he's like, hey, is this uh, Aqua Grill, mm -hmm. uh, you know, by the city? And I'm like, whoa, like the city in Florida, because we live in Florida, but we're not going to say which city, because, you know, there's crazy people out there. <laughs> um, so I was like, hold on, that's like 30 minutes away from me. So I message him. I say no on the comments <clears throat> and then I message him and I'm like, Hey, I'm in this city. And he's like, what? That's crazy. That's only 30 minutes away. I'm like, I know. And then, um, I'm like, what church do you go to? And he, he says, I go to this church, which is my university, which is a Christian university where I study ministry. That's my university's church. And I'm like, what the heck? And he's like, yeah, my professor is, uh, this 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 man's name I'm not gonna say mm -hmm. it and I'm like that's my professor his pastor is my professor so <laughs> it was crazy because I could have lived anywhere else in the world and so um, we just got to know each other and um, we did not kiss for the first six weeks the reason why is because we did not want to get blinded by infatuation and be led by emotions but we wanted to really cover all the ground usually when people are dating they put up this representative like their their representative hey meet my representative the best version of me and you don't see the skeletons in the closet well we actually unpacked the skeletons in the closet we talked about day our one. past mm -hmm. from day one our past uh we shared our testimonies on the first date um we talked about our past sins and addictions uh we talked about uh, the abuse that we had been through, through past relationships. Um, I mean, we covered all the ground. Plus, how do we raise kids? How do we act when we are, uh, you know, angry or upset or disappointed? How do we handle things? 
our love languages. Um, theological things, we all agree on We agreed theology. on all of the theological <laughs> points, like literally everything theologically we agreed upon. Um, From predestination versus free will to old earth, new earth, everything. <laughs> every, I mean, everything. Yeah. Um, and so it was just incredible how much we were in sync. And we know that this is a God thing. When you know that you know that you know and you have no doubt, you just go for it, you know? Um, so as we continue to get to know each other, we started to, um, after the six weeks, we, we did kiss. And um, Lance, do you want to kind of take it over from here? Yeah, and like throughout this whole time and, and throughout leading up to the eloping, I mean, nothing was forced. It was just like, would just be real and raw and authentic because why put on a facade and prolong something that isn't in the Lord's will? It's just wasting both of our time. So we didn't force anything. Um, and so after that six weeks, uh, you know, we began to uh, kind of let the, our guard down from our heart because we yes. had been through... Uh, some abusive things uh, in the past that made us guarded, uh, uh, yeah. guarded, and and made us not want to rush into anything and and just mm -hmm. take it at a very steady pace. And as this began to occur, we began to open up, and more of our personalities would come. It wasn't yes. just like okay, we're on the same page with all these things, but how do we interact on a personality level? And I saw glimpses of Jackie's humor and whatnot, mm -hmm. which were funny, but not to the full extent of what I do now. And that just took time. Um, so I didn't, is there anything specific you wanted me to hit on after the six weeks? Well, wanted? we didn't know that we fell in love actually at the same time, the same day, but mm. we didn't tell each other until later. Um, it was a day where we went to the beach and we just started getting really silly with each other. We didn't, I didn't know if he was, cause being funny is really important on my list and it's very important on his list. So we were just like, okay, are you, can we laugh together though? And um, thinking that in our own heads, not even voicing it. And this day I put on shake your groove thing at the beach and he just started shaking his groove thing. And it was really funny. <laughs> and we just started belly laughing. He, um, he carried me like this. Cause I was like, carry me and run. And he started running. We just started laughing because it was so silly. We made a smiley face in, in the beach and just were completely silly in ourselves. Um, after being so serious and covering so much ground. Um, and we had our first kiss and we both knew that we loved each other that same day. And we found out later on when we talked about it. Um, so uh, I spent two weeks in Michigan with his family, uh, which was so wonderful. And his mom and his dad and his sister. I mean, it's just been uh, so amazing. Um, so I absolutely fell in love with his family and he got to know my parents um, and some close people in my life and everyone was in agreement that we were made for each other. Um, so that's a good sign when everybody's in agreement, people that are close to you, they're mm -hmm. in agreement that, hey, we like this person. Um, but as time went on, we started um, having deeper feelings for each other because we connected spiritually on personality and uh, physically as well. Of course, we have attraction for each other. So, Nancy, you wanna? Yeah, and <laughs> I've got the most beautiful woman <laughs> that I know. <laughs> um, during this time after Michigan, uh, we began to have, I wouldn't necessarily say it was full blown out sin. We always had our clothes on and everything, but just things that were not profitable. Um, and, you know, talking with people that I know who are older and, you know, very godly people, they said, you know, we had engagements for six months, a year, and yes, we did stumble and fall uh, into temptation. So we had this thought, we don't, we didn't, because even these little things that we had done that were not profitable, we felt convicted and repented before the Lord. And we just knew that the Lord had guided us. And so we thought we would rather please God than please man. Uh, we'd rather obey him than to continually fight this uh, realm of temptation because as time goes on, obviously your feelings continue to grow and you want to express that in a certain way. And it's just, it's better to uh, marry than to burn. And so 
we had begun discussing eloping, which is not what either of us thought. Either, uh, both of us, we thought, you know, we'll go through the engagement, we'll wait, you know, some months, and then have the wedding, and it's gonna be wonderful, we'll save everything for then. Um, but sometimes the orthodox way of what's portrayed, especially in American culture, doesn't guarantee it's the right way. Um, back then it was very different during Old Testament times, even cultures today, you know, some of them don't even see their spouse until the day of the right. wedding, so they right. don't even get to choose. Right. Uh, which I, I don't understand that, but. <laughs> um, so we had just made a decision where we wanted to please the Lord and it wasn't a rushing in to have sex. It was a, let's get this done so we can walk obediently before God and we're not withdrawing his hand from blessing our lives and doing what he wants us to do. Um, and so it was, it, again, it was made very evident to us that this was from the Lord. He guided us. He led us to each other. And so those are just some initial thoughts on eloping. Did you have more you wanted to add? Yeah. So uh, one thing that we had was peace. Yeah. We had peace. We had security. Um, and that's something I never had before. Um, so the Lord, if it's from the Lord, it brings peace. If it's from the Lord, that person's going to bring you closer to God. And he's brought me so much closer to God. And it's been such an amazing journey with him so far. Um, when you know, you know. Now, we are not telling anybody, just get If you're in a relationship mm -mm. and you are having <laughs> sex outside of marriage or falling in any way, uh, you know, elope. No, that is unwise. Or to, have, to, to elope just to get have sex and have intimacy that is unwise you have to be led by the holy spirit and be hearing and attentive to his voice and at the end of the day if you know that you know that you know um it's been confirmed by the lord it's been confirmed by the lord you have to sermon you've been praying about it your families are in agreement everybody's in agreement in one spirit then do it if you are if you can't control yourself now if you can do an engagement for six months and honey you can control yourself okay then stay there but if you, the bible says if if you cannot control yourself the bible says if you cannot control yourself which you know alludes that there are people that couples that cannot control themselves that's why the bible put it there if you cannot control yourself it is better to marry than to burn so god is even condoning eloping and doing it quick so that's biblical. What we did was biblical. Um, but uh, if you're still figuring it out and you don't even know and you have doubts in your head, if you have any doubts, honey, God is not the author of confusion. No. So it's either get out of that relationship and stop settling for less and miss out on God's best. Or, you know, if you're in, in sexual sin or um, get married. If you know that you know that you know, why wait? Why wait seven months? That is a culture thing. Nowhere in the Bible does it say, and this is something his mother just uh, said to me today, nowhere in the Bible does it say that we need to have an engagement for seven months or a year. <laughs> that is a man-made idea. That is not from the Lord. And I, uh, Isaac and Rebecca, Isaac's dad, literally Abraham, told his servant, go find me, my son, a wife. Isaac didn't even know what she looked like. But the Lord picked her. Her out for him Rebecca and the servant brought her back and that was it they had sex consummated the marriage and they were married so people are going to make judgments we've already been persecuted mm. from even people in our family but it's not about pleasing man it's about pleasing the Lord and we are right. both people that we know God has called us to teach and preach the word we have to be above reproach and blameless. And that goes for all of us, not just leaders. Mm -hmm. So um, the whole waiting thing is a culture thing. It is not in the Bible anywhere, unless you really are not sure. Mm -hmm. So there has to be that confirmation. The Lord even, we had conversations up in Michigan with people I very much respect and um, some of them said who had like, I think one of them had close to like a 35 to 40 year marriage before the husband deceased, that they met each other and got married in six weeks. Right. <laughs> and they're, they're, they're Christians. 
Um, another time is one that was also just like, I think roughly maybe it was six months or so, uh, but didn't have this big wedding, even though um, they were very wealthy. They just did it in a small, intimate place, just with those that really were very close with them. So usually what is portrayed by culture, we don't have to uh, continue in if the Lord's leading us in a different direction. Um, yes. The engagement and everything, as Jackie has already alluded to, it's it's man-made. Mm -hmm. It's it's enjoyable, of course. Yes. Uh, if we could have done it, we probably we would have done it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but this was just the way. And so if you feel compelled through after covering all the bases that you can, um, you know, sharing your testimony in full, because you're going to get married to this person. It's just important to know their entire past. I yeah, know it's difficult everything. to share that. Mm -hmm. But we literally did it on the first day, yep. sharing everything um and even more as as like a couple of other interactions came mm -hmm. but the bulk was on that first day and so why not get it out there and out of the way and if someone can't accept you for it can't accept you for what uh the lord's redeemed you from then why waste your time with them bye mm -hmm. <laughs> literally bye <laughs> if you if you don't love me and accept me with my flaws and my past honey i'm not gonna wait until the wedding day and then tell you because that's not even fair. Mm -mm. No. The thing is, people don't want to open up and people are scared of rejection. And so they prolong this this time of seven months to really get to know each other. And we just did all the essentials in a shorter period of time. Things that people don't do in seven, seven months, ten months. So um, All by the Lord's grace and spirit leading. Yes. So what we can tell you is ask questions. Yes. Ask questions. Ask all the questions. Do the question game. Yes. <laughs> okay, ask the hard questions. Not, how's the weather your favorite color? No, baby. Get to the nitty gritties. And I got grilled with the questions. <laughs> oh, he got grilled. He got grilled. I answered them. I had no problem answering them. Yes. <laughs> and God did more. Every other guy that I picked, honey, oh my gosh, does not compare. God knows your type better than you know your type. Wait for the Lord. Wait on the Lord. I made mistakes not waiting and being hasty and being impatient and thinking I'm going to die alone. This is a gift from the Lord for me. And guess what? He's literally perfect for me. He's not a perfect man. No one's perfect, but he's perfect for me. And this is all God. And God can write your love story if you let him. So we are going to be starting a YouTube channel where we're going to be talking about marriage and sex in marriage, something that the church does not talk about, um, and many other topics. Relationships. So relationships, uh, conflict resolution, and things that we've learned. Um, and uh, eventually, we are going to be doing couples counseling. So um, we're very excited for the things that are planned for the future. And um, we hope that this video helps somebody. Um, to make that decision and stop wasting time. Yes, and so we will um, add all the proper links uh, in the description box as far as our YouTube channel is gonna be Lance and Jackie Vantine. You'll be able to find our social media that we are collaborating on, Instagram, Facebook, Lance and Jackie Vantine as well. We'll connect that there. And you know, just on your pursuit, just, just trust the Lord. I know it's difficult to wait upon him. Um, but you want all three areas covered and, and sent by him, body, soul, spirit. He's going to send you someone who you're attracted to. He's not going to send you someone who's ugly. Uh, someone whose soul is saved, uh, who has believed you as Christ's Lord and Savior and repented of their sins. And their uh, spirit, you know, what's their personality? Are you able to work alongside them? You know, are you able to um, partake in life and experience the joy that comes with it? And even the hard times, be able to bear one another's burdens. Mm -hmm. um, the Lord will make that known to you. And I know the weight is difficult. Uh, it's, it's extremely difficult, but in the yes. end, it's extremely worth it. Yes. So we love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, we will see you in the future with future videos. All right. Bye, guys.